Hello, Prom Singh here from WorkwearCanada.com, bushcraftcanada.com, and uh, got some more of these uh, more knives and uh, kits that we've had in. I've got, uh, like I said, I'm just showing quite a few more uh, frost knives that actually uh, you might not have seen before, and I've got more to come. And, but I just thought I'd show you these quickly. Uh, I'll start with the kits actually. This is um, <clears throat> this is a Moira kit called the Beaver Cut. And um, it's one of a couple of kits that uh, that I found digging through their catalogs. Um, you get a nice um, heavy, and it is a heavy uh, nylon case here. So the un, uh, unclips like that. And um, <clears throat> in the kit in this fold here, you get one of the uh, Moira companions. Uh, this is the stainless steel version. You also get a uh, one of their hatchets. Uh, I believe this is this is this is all made in Sweden, and I assume this is from the sweet this Mora knife. So I assume this is from the same factory. So um, this is uh, it's going to be a high carbon steel with a polypropylene handle, and obviously a permanently fixed in for the uh, the head and the shaft together. Um, makes a nice uh, you know scraping tool as well. You can get your hands around that nice and easily. Uh, that is, let me just see that. <coughs> I haven't measured these yet. Uh, that's just uh, 13 inches long. And the cutting head is uh, three and a half. Get a nice uh, get a leather edge cover there for it as well. Uh, just sits in there. And also you get a uh, folding saw. Nice looking uh, folding saw there. We call it the BB cut. Uh, obviously, you can get it for game processing, or you know, these are big teeth on here. This is for wood cutting as well. Uh, so that's a nice little kit. Get those three items in there, and uh, like I say, it comes in a nice leather folder. A uh, sort nice uh, nylon folder there. Uh, so that's the beaver cut there. They also do this kit, which is their um, hunting or butchery kit. Actually, <coughs> again. <coughs> You've got a nylon case here that comes in, and uh, when it comes out, you've also got the uh, the two knives and the uh, steel uh, in a, this is a, a belt mountable uh, plastic uh, sheath. So you've got the uh, traditional butcher's, uh, you know, steel here, for keeping those edges fresh, and then you've basically got two, two knives, both skinners, one with a bit more Belly mallow, I've sort of kind of a fillet, but it's still, you know, is that um, skinning up swept shape. He's got these pro grip handles, which are very good. Actually, give you a really good grip and a nice little yeah, belly here uh, for the palm. And um, they feel very comfortable, very slightly kind of sticky, but not too much that it gets on your nerves, but enough to make it feel as if you've got a good grip there. He's nice. I'll just quickly tell you here, yeah, these blades. That's a five inch, and uh, this one here is six. So a nice little kit that you know, if your meat processing in the hunting season coming up, uh, be worth thinking about. And another one which they sell, which is a this is the frost version. It's si very similar to that skin knife, but you can buy it on its own. It doesn't come with a sheath uh, or an edge cover, um, but uh, you know. You know, if you if you are processing any game, uh, you know, or cutting any meat, you know, in the kitchen as well, these these uh, knives are so easy to use. You know, very handy indeed. This one is the Frost's version. High, this is uh, a high carbon. And then um, another one which which I saw and which I got is basically a larger version of some of their companion styles. This is the uh, high carbon Scandi grind. Um, it's about uh, 58, 60 HRC, this one. Very nice uh, stippling on the handle here, and, a ni and again, a nice you know, uh, swell in the handle there for your palm. It's a nice grip there, nice blade shape, and it's just, a, just like a bigger version, really, of the, uh, of the companions. This is a um, six inch blade, eh? 2.5 mil thick. And um, I think this is the 731. They call it, and that's a nice knife. You know, that's a great grip on that knife. And again, you know, you've got this quality more uh, 
or a carbon steel. One of the beauties of Moro, of course, is you get this, this great steel for a really reasonable price. So that's a nice knife. That comes with a sheath, uh, you know, plastic, with uh, just a leather strap there that's mountable on your belt. So there is um, <clears throat> the couple of kits and um, the beaver cut, the uh, butcher's kit, the 3000 butcher's kit, the frost skinner, and uh, the 731. So like I say, you know, there's, <laughs> if I dig through these uh, back catalogues, there's, there's plenty of uh, knives out there, and I've got some more as well, which I'll, I'll do a video on in a little while. But, uh, you know, if you're looking for some little uh, kits, you know, um, butchery kits and things, I'd definitely have a look at that 3000. You know, wood processing, game processing, the beaver cut's a good idea. You know, these frost skinners are always useful. Nice to have in a kitchen or, you know, wherever you, uh, or if you're game processing, wherever you do that. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for a general knife, general use knife, you know, these 731s are great. So, um, there we are. If you need any more information, you can just uh, give me an email, paul at bushcraftcanada.com.